Hi, Taylor T. Carlson, and today we're going back to the world of music with an exciting new reissue from one of my personal favorite bands, Green Day. This actually just came out. This is the deluxe reissue of the Insomniac album. Insomniac, originally released in 1995, was the second major label album for Green Day and their fourth full-length release overall. This album is probably best known for the hit Brain Stew and Jaded, which still gets played on the radio a lot to this day, but it also brought in a lot of minor hits like Geek Stink Breath, Walking Contradiction, and Stuck With Me. This album doesn't really tend to get a lot of the proper credit because it came out right after Dookie, which was their smash success major label debut with a ton of hits, and it came out right before the Nimrod album, which featured the hit ballad Good Riddance, Time of Your Life. So this is kind of the underrated, overlooked album of Green Day's classic 90s catalog, and now we have it reissued in this vinyl anniversary reissue. So we're going to do a quick unboxing, and I'll show some of my thoughts on the release. Here, of course, is our cover art. This is you know, shiny and holographic. These guys always did have a knack for interesting cover art themes. And then we got our back cover here track list at the bottom. This includes a bonus record which has some tracks from a live show they did in Prague. We'll talk a little more about that later. Now for the actual inner sleeves. Here's the one that's got our actual record on. That sticker there was actually from the shrink wrap. I don't want to throw that out so I just stuck it on here. Yeah, lyrics for the songs right there. Yeah, copyright information down there. More lyrics on this side. We pull this out. Here's what the labels on here look like. Second disc has our bonus disc. Great shots of the band here from back in the day, as well as a list of what tracks are on the bonus disc. Now, only side three has actual bonus material on it, whereas side four contains no music, and it's actually an etching of the cover artwork to the album. I know it's kind of hard to see this on the uh, camera here, but you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. So, like I said, it's a very underrated album from Green Day's catalog. It may not be the instant classic that Dookie was, but it has no shortage of great tunes, and it really captures the band in their infancy right after they got their major label deal. And there are a few fairly big hits and some minor hits, and there are some good ones here. This one really shouldn't be overlooked by fans. The bonus vintage live material is definitely going to be of interest to Green Day fans, featuring eight tracks from Prague that were done on the tour for the app. Unfortunately, this brings me to my one of my primary complaints about the app. If you didn't already notice, first of all, it's not a gatefold despite being a double vinyl set, but that's not the complaint I'm talking about here. The complaint I have is that it's not the complete concert. They only took the concert songs that were from the Insomniac album originally and put them on here. It was like a 20-track concert, and they only took the eight or so tracks that were originally on Insomniac. So we don't get the complete concert, which is a huge disappointment. I did some research, and I found that the only prog date that they did in support of the Insomniac album was March 26, 1996 at the Sportovni Halle. I'm guessing that means something like Sports Hall. And there were about 20 songs performed at this show, including several from Dookie, and even a few off the first two albums they did on independent label Lookout Records before they were signed to Reprise. Now, this is hugely disappointing because they wasted side four on that etching of the album art, but they could have used that extra space to put the complete concert on here. Another complaint, too, is that it doesn't include the song J.A.R., Jason Andrew Relva, as a bonus track. That was originally on the soundtrack to the movie Angus, and it had previously appeared on the International Super Hits Greatest Hits compilation from 2001. There's also not really any expanded liner notes or anything like that here, so... All we get for bonus content, really, is the excerpts from that prog show and the etched disc. I would much rather have had the complete concert, as well as Jason Andrew Relva as a bonus track. However, I do think Green Day fans, especially those that don't yet own Insomniac on vinyl, will be really happy to pick this up. Are you a Green Day fan? 
What's your favorite album from their catalog? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also remember to subscribe to my channel because I'm always posting new videos. And give this one a like if you found it helpful or interesting. I'm Taylor T. Carlson and I will see you next time.